In the past years, CNC machines have exploded in popularity with many new machines entering the market. Some famous models are trending. But more fame isn't always better. Prices are going up too. You're probably new to CNC machines and aren't sure which wagon to jump on. Or maybe you're even looking for an upgrade. Well don't worry, I've done all the research and in the next few minutes you're going to know more about CNC machines than even this guy. Oh, I mean this guy. CNC machines can mill, drill, cut, engrave and carve using different software like Carbide Create and Fusion 360 to control them. You can either make your own models or download some amazing stuff on free websites like Thingverse. CNC Design Shop DXF for CNC and Cut Rocket Let's cover some essentials so you start your journey with fewer broken drill bits and a significantly lower risk of you yelling at your new machine. 1. What material are you cutting? Are you doing simple wood engraving or going full terminator mode and cutting 3D steel objects? The harder the material, the better the machine needed. 2. Structure is key. If the machine isn't solid enough, accuracy suffers. Your beautiful project suffers. So check the moving mechanism. Is it drive belt, ball screw or linear rail? Rod thickness along the axes. Material of the machine base. Is it plastic, aluminum, steel? And machine size. Small DIY projects or large masterpieces. 3. Spindle router specs. The spindle is the attached drill and you're gonna work it to the bone. Spindles, they're compared by torque, RPM and power. Torque is how much force the spindle applies against an object in this moment. Torque and RPM generally have an inverse relationship and a curve that looks like this. Spindles range between 75 to 2000 watts. 4. Stepper motors. You see those little boxy things on the sides? Yeah, those guys. They are the spindle's personal Uber drivers. They move him along the X, Y and Z axes. If you try cut a strong material with a weaker stepper motor, you will get missed steps, which cause misalignment during cutting, giving you the urge to throw your machine out of the window. They come in different sizes and shapes and are called NEMA motors. NEMA 17 motors have the following torques. NEMA 23 motors are always stronger than 17 and have stronger torque ranges. 5. Electronics Limit switches Without these, the spindle flies into walls with no regrets, like a shopping cart with no brakes. Instead, they tell the spindle, Hey buddy, maybe let's not do that, maybe take a chill pill? They are mainly used to home your machine. Motherboards are also important. Low-end machines use 8-bit motherboards, think potato PC, while higher-end machines use 32 bits for more accuracy. And finally, chip load. Not a part of CNC machines, but one of the most important things in your CNC journey. This is a drill bit, and it could have different amounts of flutes. No, 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 not this flute. The machine will already make enough music for you. These are flutes. Chip load means how many chips does one flute cut per one rotation. And with the right chip load, the drill bit stays cool as the hot chips fly out. If you cut too deep or too fast, your drill bit will break. It will basically take a permanent sick leave. If you cut too shallow, the heat will build up and the drill bit will become dull or even stick to the material. If you break a few drill bits, don't worry, welcome to the club. Luckily, manufacturers have already found some ideal chip loads that we can follow. Start with those and you can fine tune them later when you get more experience. With this knowledge, you've probably saved weeks of trial and error. And now it's time to get to the 5 best CNC machines in the market. Links can be found in the description below. And kicking off the list with the CNC Top House 3018. 
the absolute cheapest machine that will help you maintain a healthy relationship with your bank account. With a small investment of $150, it's perfect for DIY projects and making gifts for family and friends. Finding CNC machines at this price range is like trying to find your cat before a vet visit. It doesn't happen. The machine is compact with a working area of 12 by 7 by 1.8 inches. The frame base is mostly made out of PA6 nylon with some aluminum, combined with the NEMA 17 motors and a 120 watt spindle running at 10k RPM. Were you hoping to slice through aluminum and carbon fiber like a hot knife through butter? Not gonna happen. This machine is designed to give a smoother experience with softer materials like woods, plastics, acrylic and even PVC. You'll be able to cut quarter inch single passes in wood and acrylic or half an inch in mini passes. It has an 8-bit motherboard and a tool setting probe to help you achieve the minimum required accuracy. You also get an SD card reader to add your G-code and then manually adjust parameters with the offline controller. It's actually impressive to find extra features like an emergency stop button, some single side XYZ lemon switches for homing the machine and the ability to upgrade to stronger spindles or even laser engravers. The spindle has ER11 collets, definitely enough for this machine. Overall, it's a fantastic entry machine, but be prepared, it will take some patience to master it. If you want a plug and play CNC machine, you'll have to check the next option. Next up, still in the budget range, the Genmitsu 3018 Pro version 2, slightly smaller than the last option with the following dimensions. But for $270, you are paying for better reliability and beginner friendliness with one of the most famous CNC machine brands, Sane Smart. The Pro Vertu has similar NEMA motors and a spindle compared to the last option, so why is this machine better? Well, the build frame is mainly aluminium, much stronger, and that's great for cutting harder materials and for a speed boost. So bye bye wobble and hello level up. The Pro version 2 supports more CAD and CAM software, easier for you to make G-code and get cutting. It comes with a 32-bit motherboard. Everything is faster and smoother. What about assembly? Way easier. The gantry frame and spoil board are pre-assembled with improved cable management. You can even explore cutting carbon fiber and light aluminum at slow speeds. And then you get the standard add-ons like a Z-probe and the emergency stop button. The machine still ain't perfect. It only has limit switches on one side per axis. They're for homing the machine, not air prevention. And I'd love to see a stronger spindle than the 10k RPM one provided. That's why Genmitsu has add-ons. If you like the machine, you can upgrade to a 20k RPM spindle or even a higher grade one. Expand your Y-axis working area to 16 inches and even get a dustproof enclosure box. Less noise, less mess. Standard one-year warranty. If you're new to CNC machining and are working mostly with wood and plastics, this machine is for you. Now entering the proper CNC world, higher speed, higher power. The last two options were nice, but they're kinda like toys. The 500 watt CNC Top Power 3020 Plus machine changes that. At $360, you get a serious upgrade across the board. 11.8 by 7.8 by 2.8 inches. That's double the depth of cut to create more 3D designs. You get a cool, classy frame structure that can take a proper beating. Thicker aluminum frames, plus linear guide rails on the x-axis for minimum sway and a beast 500 watt 11k RPM spindle. You even get significantly stronger NEMA 17 motors with these specs. It has a 32-bit motherboard and anything less than this at this price is a crime. You can imagine, all these upgrades means accuracy to the moon, less than 0.1mm deviation, 
working on softer materials like wood, MDF, PCB is easy peasy, even at high speeds. But here is where it gets fun. Aluminum, carbon fiber, copper, they're now on the chopping block too. With a few passes, you can cut one centimeter deep or half an inch. Steel is also now on the table, but take it slow and steady. If you work on metals regularly, then integrate cooling liquids. And then there's bonus features. XYZ limit switches are now on both sides for maximum machine safety. A fancy Z-probe alligator clip. And a proper working board with an epic grid to help you align your objects without guessing or using the ruler every 5 seconds. Oh, and just like before, it comes with a 1 year warranty. Be warned, assembly is less straightforward compared to the Genmitsu. Now, for the final two machines. At this price range, big names pop up, but surprisingly, many use drive belts instead of ball screws or linear rails. Drive belts on a CNC? Sure, drive belts are great for speed, which is why laser engravers use them, but CNCs have high force, and belts will stretch, causing a loss of accuracy in time, especially when you're working on harder materials. Instead, coming up in number 2, you get the Genmitsu Pro XL4030 CNC machine. A destroyer that's held its throne for 2 years straight. For $700, it's unbeatable. Sure, he has a newer brother with version 2, but that one's way overpriced, so we'll stick with the king. Do you need to work on harder metals and want a big working area? Here you go. Check these dimensions. Boom. It's built like a battleship. Look at those thick frames. Forget about NEMA 17, we now have NEMA 23 motors. And Y-axis is double trouble, cause it has two motors. This means you'll be cutting sharper than your boss's feedback. 0.1 mm accuracy? No problem. But this battleship got a big slap in the face. They gave it everything and then put on it a lousy 300 watt spindle. You're gonna have to upgrade it to at least a 1000 watt spindle or router, like the DeWalt or Mikita router. And you'll be shredding through metal. If you get a good carbide bit, you can even start dabbing into steel now. It's super beginner friendly because you'll never break it. Even the cables are hiding from you, so they won't get jammed, and it's 80% assembled already. Easy setup. The limit switches, clamps, and Z-probe all help make your life easier too. The conclusion is, it's simple, effective, and reliable. And finally, the best of the best, the Fox Alien XE Pro. The equivalent of an industrial grade machine at your home workshop. At around $1,400, it's not cheap, but it's worth every penny. It can create miracles. If you're someone who's already had a taste of CNC and now you're ready to up your game to work on very hard materials like steel, this machine has been waiting for you with solid dimensions of 15.8 by 15.8 by 3.8 inches upgraded NEMA 23 motors and the improved ball screw and dual rail design on each axis, holy moly is fast. And even more, the XE Pro is as tough as you are. If you were Spider-Man, trying to save the world, and maybe you had a couple of machine guns too. And that is because it's made out of metal, which is three times denser than aluminium, built to last. All those specs decrease vibrations significantly and give you an accuracy of 0.05mm with the ability to cut everything you can imagine. Here's how the XC Pro compares to the Genitsu. But as usual, there's this one little hiccup. Surprise, the machine only has a 400 watt spindle. Poor guy, it's like running a marathon in flip-flops, while fasting and in the desert. This means you'll need to upgrade the router using one of the provided attachments. Limit switches are on both sides and the assembly is not too hard. You can customize the machine further with linear rail replacements on all axes and improve workspace with the extension pack. In short, the XE Pro is the Hulk. When he's angry, 
no competition. If you care about precision and power and are willing to pay the price for it, the Hulk is what you need. Congratulations, you're officially a pro wizard now and all you're missing is a good wand. So go get one. Best links for the machines are in the description below. And as a gift, here is a comparison chart of all of the machines together. Here are some search results that you might want to check if you get overwhelmed. You've subscribed already, right? Wait, you haven't? But how are you gonna find the best tech next time? Have a good day and happy machining!